Hey there, my name is Daniel Jason Booth and I'm a professional mixing engineer. Today I want to talk to you about a DIY project that completely changed how I approach mixing music. This simple device takes a little bit of skill to make and I'll provide the parts list, building and wiring guide in the description. I'm talking about an AB passive stereo switcher box. So what the hell is an AB passive stereo switcher box and why do you need it? As a professional mixer, it's important to have a reliable way to check your mixes against different reference material to ensure that you're on the right track. You want it to be quick and easy so that you can remain as objective as possible. You can kind of do this inside a DAW, but let's be honest, A-B testing in the box is disruptive to your creative flow. So to streamline this process and make it a more tactile experience, which is one of the things we love about working with analog, I built my own AB passive stereo switcher box. It's a physical device that allows you to quickly switch between different audio outputs, such as a current mix, an older mix, or a reference track for AB testing and comparisons. The AB passive stereo switcher box is made with only the most essential components, such as rotary switches, stereo inputs and outputs, it's designed for an audio interface with multiple outputs, such as the Focusrite Claret that I use. Now, since you almost always run your mix out of outputs one and two, the switcher takes advantage of the spare output paths. From inside your door, you route alternative mixes, reference tracks, or even mix subgroups, such as vocals and effects, to any unused stereo output pairs. Basically, whatever you find helpful, just send it and it's available at the flick of a switch in the real world. The idea is that you level match within your DAW, but physically change between outputs outside it. This frees you to work anywhere within your session as you reach over and flick the AB switch. Level matching in the box bypasses the need for additional components in the build to control volume. I've made it as simple as possible to ensure that the audio pathway is pure, leaving the rest to digital for what it does best. The real game changer for me is the ability to correct course while mixing with minimal disruption to my workflow. Flicking over to a reference or seeing where you were an hour before is the fastest way to stay objective and with this box you can do that instantly. When referencing songs in a DAW, you usually have to run to the same outputs as your main mix, outputs one and two, meaning you need to mute your mix and then unmute the reference track, then the same in reverse. During the time delay, I've basically forgotten most of the differences, but with the passive stereo switcher box, I can easily and instantly switch between different versions of my mix or reference tracks and quickly identify what needs to be corrected while remaining in a flow state. I recommend this DIY project for anyone looking to improve their mixing skills and streamline their workflow. It's a simple yet effective solution that will help you make better mixing decisions and produce more compelling work. The plans for the download include component lists and wiring diagrams for two different versions of the box, one with seven stereo inputs and one stereo output, and another more straightforward interpretation of the box that just has three stereo inputs to one stereo output. Thanks for watching and I hope the switcher box can help you improve your mixing skills. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions about the plans or building the box. I'm more than happy to help you out. So download the plans, get building and take your mixes to the next level. Until next time, happy mixing.